You cannot get people to believe in your dream until you believe in it yourself. Nobody's going to put into your dream before you put in. You have to invest in what you dream for. Do you have anything that you're dreaming that you're willing to be committed to enough to see it happen? 90% of your energy, focus, time, and thought should be towards the solution, not towards the problem itself. This is a mistake most people make because they expend all the energy into the problem. And when you expand energy, it grows to survive. And the problem gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and the solution becomes more and more difficult. The hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. And the moment you decide to no longer think the same way, make the same choice, act the same way, create the same experience, or live by the same emotion, it's going to feel uncomfortable. And the moment you feel uncomfortable, you just stepped into the river of change. Short-term thinking says, the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says, one workout doesn't matter. I can see. Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. Think strategic. Think long-term. Act strategic. Take action that improves your long-term position and moves you toward your long-term goals. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. Get out of your damn bed, get off your phone, and you need to go out there into the world and get after it. People think of freedom as the ability to implement your whim. And freedom opens up that as a possibility. But sustainable freedom, that isn't what it's about at all. It's about, it's primarily about responsibility. It's about determining which load you're going to pick up and carry. That's the proper definition of appropriate freedom. We have pain, we have suffering, we react. And we react about, get the f out of here. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, I'm a good. There's a way through this. It's, it's going to end. It's going to end, but we don't know that. We don't think that. At that time, it's going to last forever. So what keeps me going? I've quit several things. I know what's on the back end of can quit. It's a lifetime of thinking about why the f did I do that? And I ain't doing that no more. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. Nothing in life is promised except death. If you have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's past. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. My perspective, when people ask me all the time, though, I lack discipline, how can I get discipline in my life? And no one wants to hear this answer. No one wants to hear it. The, one of the first steps you can take to impose discipline in your life is to wake up early in the morning. Because, let's face it, when the alarm goes off, you are you got your head on that soft pillow, it's all nice and cozy and warm in there, you do not feel like getting up. You should not, that snooze alarm is... That's insane! I, I call that snooze alarm the dream killer. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. 95% of our decisions are made by how you feel in the moment. And that is the problem. Do you feel like making that cold call? No, you don't. Do you feel like doing that third set of reps? No, you don't. And if you accept the fact that you may never feel ready and you may never feel motivated and you may never feel courageous and that's okay, but you can still push yourself forward. As you start to see yourself becoming the person that takes action, guess what happens? You build the skill of confidence and courage.
I believe that most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability. So the mind has a governor, like a car. If you're driving a car and the car has a governor on it, the car may say 130 miles an hour, but the governor's set for 91. Once that governor sets in, you get to 91, that car starts doing this. The car wants to go. The car wants to go, but that factory said, uh-uh, we're not going past 91. We have a factory, a nice governor in our brain, and it's a survival mechanism. It protects us from pain and suffering. The second we feel that, our mind says, Oh no, this isn't fun. We should back off. We should sit down, find something more comfortable. And there's something about the mind. The mind has a tactical advantage over you at all times. At all times of your life, the mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows your deep, dark lies. And it starts to push you away from that. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. The mind controls everything. Think strategic all the time before any action or any inaction. Ask yourself this question. Is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? Will this action move me toward the strategic long-term goals I am trying to achieve in my life? And do not lie to yourself. You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. You're not a procrastinator. You have a habit of procrastinating. And in the case of procrastination, the triggers always stress. The only way to break a habit, you guys, is not to deal with the triggers. You're never going to get rid of the stress in your life, but you can 100% change your pattern of avoiding work. What you're going to do is you're going to go, oh, I must be stressed out about something. Then I want you to just work just for five minutes because your problem isn't working. It's the habit of avoiding. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. Oh. Think about that for a second. Michael Jordan won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls because he was committed to plan A, not plan B. Oprah Winfrey became the queen of all media because she was committed to plan A, not plan B. Plan B sucks.